So after reading this book, Dollars Want Me, I really have a renewed perspective on affirmations, thought process, and self-concept. So rather than constantly thinking, I want this, I want that, I'm starting to shift my thought process to things want me, money wants me, business wants me, people want me. I have a wonderful success story. I was uh, in the process of furnishing my new home and um, it has multiple living rooms. And one of the living rooms is like a game room for like my teenage son. And I need a new, needed a new couch down there because I threw out the old one from our last house. And I didn't really want to spend $2,000 on a brand new couch. So I was looking online. I was like, oh, maybe I can find something, you know, on Facebook Marketplace. It's just for the game room. The boys are going to, you know, it's going to be a mess no matter what. I don't want to get a brand new couch. So I looked for a while. It was around Christmas. I really didn't want to spend any additional money because it was already holiday time and we were already, um, we had a lot of expenditures and I'm remodeling a new restaurant and I am already investing a lot of money over there. So I had the kids straighten up the area, the space where the new couch would go. So we did some organizing in that room. We got some things in storage. And then lo and behold, I'm on Facebook a couple weeks later. And basically one of my neighbors is giving away a free couch. And I thought about it. I'm like, wow, I kept saying to myself, I want a new couch. I need a new couch. We need to find a new couch. And here it is. That's like me looking right? Which there's nothing wrong with looking. You want something, you're going to look for it. Um, But when I read this book, Dollars Want Me, I thought about it. The moment I stopped looking for a couch, the couch found me. Uh, My neighbor posted on this Facebook group for our development that does anyone need a new couch? Her couch was less than two years old, great condition, pet-free home, smoke-free home, And she posted it. And when I saw the post, it was like almost a day later. And I'm like, no one even commented on this woman's post. And I was like, hey, yeah, I love your couch. And so I had the opportunity to meet this beautiful, sweet lady that lives down the street from us. um, Who's giving away her free couch. And all she wanted was for this couch to have a nice home. She's like, I didn't want to sell it because I didn't want to deal with strangers coming to my home. So I just posted it in our little community group and I figured I could find someone that would give it a good home. So here's the thing that this taught me about dollars want me, couches want me, my new vanity wants me, my new restaurant wants me, is this. There's always a match for your desire. There was a match for my couch. I wanted a new couch, but rather than keep pursuing, 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 sometimes the more you look, the more it's a confirmation that you don't have because you're looking for it. So you're sub- telling your subconscious mind, I don't have this, I need this, I gotta go get it. And that affirmation of I don't have perpetuates you not having. Now, I took my focus off of needing the couch. And I said, let's prepare the space because I want the space to be organized and we gotta take down the Christmas decorations and since we're in the basement, my basement has a living room area and then a storage area. Since we're in a basement, let's organize both areas. And then whenever we find a couch, we'll be ready for it. You know, I'll buy one, you know, eventually I'll figure it out. Um, so I prepared my space. I no longer was looking. I accepted that, Hey, I'm going to have a new couch. Let me just take the time and make room for it. And then Here is this woman that almost wanted to pay us to take the couch away. We went to go see the couch. She, I met someone that was just very kind spirited, just very sweet nature. Um, And she has this beautiful couch and she's trying to figure out how to get rid of it. I got a new couch coming on Thursday. I need someone to come take this away. I would rather pay someone to take it away. And the two of us just lined up. She, all she wanted was for the coat, the couch to have a good home. All I wanted was a couch for my good home. And so I believe that sometimes when we accept that what I want wants me, that everything exists as a possibility, everything exists, there's infinite ways that what you desire can and will come to you. 
So instead of me being stuck on, I got to go shopping, I got to go find it. I have to go figure it out. I'm going, I got to go spend a thousand dollars. I just accepted that, Hey, you know what? We're going to get that basement set up the way that it needs to be. It will be there. Everything's going to be, it's going to be perfect. And the fact that she came to the conclusion that all I want is for this couch to have a good home. I don't want strangers coming to my house and I want it to be easy and not cost her anything to have this couch removed. We lined up perfectly. And I literally had my 16 year old son and a couple of his friends just take the couch out of her house and use a dolly and just walk it, literally walk the brand new couch down the street. And we have our new house. We have our new couch. So I wanted to just share that, that we all, we don't always have to go out and be aggressive about got to get this and got to get that. What you want wants you. There is a perfect match. There's a perfect match for what you want. And I believe that if we stop searching and become and accept and give ourselves what we're looking for, acknowledge that we already have it, that we'll see the manifestation of it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Oh, don't forget to go to my website, CorinneDraper.com. If you would like for me to help you with your manifestation, I have a great coaching package and I would love to work with you. Smooches.